In our first reading today from the prophet Jonah, we learn of free will. We learn of God's great gifts to us in free will, the ability for us to choose yes to God's plan for our lives or to say no to God's plan for our lives. To say, God, your thoughts are not my thoughts, mine are better. God, your ways are not my ways, my ways are better. And we see how that worked out for Jonah, don't we? However, even in his distress, the Lord did not abandon Jonah. He sent him a fish that swallowed him up to protect him until he was thrown back on shore. And from there, Jonah embraced God's plan for his life. All of us have a special role that God has designed just for us that nobody else can fulfill except for us. And we can choose to embrace it, despite the struggles it might bring with it, or we can choose to run from it and think that we know better than our Heavenly Father. He will respect our wills and our choices. However, His way is still better. His way will ultimately lead us to happiness, to peace, and to fulfillment. As Christians, we're privileged every time we come to the altar to receive of our body, the body and blood of our Lord. We're privileged to taste here on earth a foretaste of the heavenly kingdom. And so today, whatever struggles we're going through, whatever choices we're making, whether it be the Lord's choice for our life, the Lord's will for our lives, or what we will, we can come to the altar of our Lord and say, Lord, I want to believe in you. I want to follow you. Help me to follow you more closely. Help me to follow you more nearly. And help me ultimately to find my fulfillment in you alone.